Oh, good morning, my inky friends. Today is the new t-shirt. Is that beautiful or what? <laughs> it's the new Worry Lips t-shirts on my Etsy shop. Go and get yourself one. This is so cool. I love it. Can you see it properly? Yes, there it is. So, let's get into some inky drawings today. I've got some great feelings this morning. I just got to. Throw down some ink and see what happens. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do some drawing. Well, good morning, inky world. Here we are with my inky brush. And we're going to bang. That feels so nice. that up a little bit more now that's a nice start that's all that's such a nice start that is just giving you that feeling of what could it be what could it be what could it be and that's the excitement we need to start with <laughs> if you don't start with the excitement what do you start with <laughs> good morning everybody oh here check out my new t-shirt the new worry lips t-shirt isn't it cool it's norman saying Love life, love yourself. And um, I'm just going to start off. As usual, I have no idea what I'm going to do. And I'm just kind of letting my pen do all the thinking. And and we're just going to see where it all takes us. And I, I've kind of got this feeling that it's like a nice haircut at the moment. So I'm just going to kind of go in there and do some big ears just to... Just to kind of follow what my pen is talking about. And that's the best part about drawing is that you just start. You don't have to think up some great, amazing idea. You just have to start. You just have to get that pencil moving or the pen moving or the paintbrush moving. Whatever your, whatever your gig is, man. Just get it rocking and rolling. Just get it moving. That's what you need to do. And the, when you start doing that, then things just naturally come. And they just kind of flow. And that's what you want. You want a piece of art that kind of, whether it's a, a genius drawing or whether it's an amazing painting or whatever, the whole point of the art is that it makes you feel good. It gives you that glow, you know? It makes you just feel like, ooh, Oh man, I enjoyed that. And that's that's what my art's all about. You know, it's not about it's not about all these kind of content creators. It's not about saying, well, you know, all those here's three points to being a genius. It's none of that type of stuff. It's just about me and you and we're just kicking back and we're just Letting, letting the ink take control. We're just letting the ink tell us what it's going to be. And that always. <laughs> I said always. I said always. I shouldn't say always. It always ends up to be a fun and funky and wacky and wild day. In fact, most of the time it does, you know. Most of the time it's just good to kind of let loose. Let loose and just kind of see what your mind is thinking, you know. A lot of the times it's like I kind of feel like my, my mind is full of thoughts and full of thinkings that maybe... Maybe I don't really know about, you know, and I think just by drawing, sometimes they just, they just come out and say, this is what I'm thinking about. This is who I'm thinking. <laughs> this is already beginning to look like a friend of mine. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time, but, you know, maybe I'm thinking about him. Let's 
kind of a <clears throat> it's something very very relaxing definitely about the, con the the way that ink is so permanent and and the feeling that whatever you do has to be right you know and I, I kind of love the way that the ink says this is what we're drawing and there is no there is no erasing there is no mistakes. It's just about you and beautiful accidents. That's a, what a great word that is, or a great phrase that is, beautiful accidents, you know? And I kind of feel like a lot of, a lot of great art <clears throat> is that. It's kind of like people that, people that paint and, and they kind of put down something. I'm just checking on my cameras. I'm very nervous about it coming back. It's about people that paint and they start and they start and they just keep going and they keep going. And they come up with this incredible thing at the end of it. And you just think, wow, man, where did that come from? And even they don't know, you know? It's like. And that's why I love to just kind of. let the pen kind of do its thing you know i love the way the 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 pen just draws i don't know i do, i sometimes feel like i don't even control it you know i just feel like it it moves it's drawing and i'm kind of watching in some kind of bizarre see what a cute little smile he's got there you know It's even come up so far. You, you see, this is something that, that Norman does a lot. Norman, as in this Norman, he sometimes has this smile that kind of comes off his face and goes around his head. If you've seen the, if you've seen the book, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. And of course, the book I'm talking about is this book. This book, the book that matches the t-shirt, ta-da! And he sometimes has these, these kind of um, expressions. That's, well, that that's kind of the type of thing. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a a nice one of his. Oh, there's Norman in bed with a lot of sheep. I'm not sure what. That. <laughs> you have to look into that. There, that's him kind of holding up his smile. Look at that. Isn't that funky? Right, that's enough of that. Go and get yourself one and you'll see what I'm talking about. And there will be a new one out very, very, very soon. I don't kind of watch the news so much, so I don't really know what's going on in the world. All I know is that the sun is shining, and that is the most important piece of news. The sun is shining, and Mr. Miro is happy. What more could I want? And in most, most cases through life, as long as you're kind of like having some kind of beautiful feeling, everything's okay, you know. Thank you very much for all the people that wrote to me yesterday. I'd been, I'd been away kind of working on the new books and things like that. And it was so lovely to get all you guys' comments and... Beautiful. Just here, just trying to keep the, the teeth very irregular. In fact, on the, on YouTube today, I posted up a picture of um, 
me and my t-shirt and behind me there is a painting did you see it did you see it well he's one of the characters that are going to be in the, the upcoming book and he is a very nasty little character called the boy with black eyes so the black eyed boy and um I can't tell you too much about it, but go and have a look at the picture. Go and have a look at that. It's a big oil painting behind my head. I kind of feel like everything should be kind of leaning that way. Kind of getting this feeling that he's... I'm doing a lot of shading in this one. I don't know what's all that about. I'm not really usually a, a shading kind of person, but obviously my brain and my second brain are having these discussions and saying, hey man, let's do some shading today. Why? <laughs> now I do these drawings, most of these drawings are just fun. They're just kind of like me letting go and relaxing and and just just kind of just feeling cool, just feeling beautiful, just feeling chilled out. And I think a lot of art at the moment seems to be all very kind of purposeful. Like I'm painting this because of the sunset or something. This is just like me going, I want to go boom, you know, <laughs> I want to go bash. And I love the way that I don't really know what's coming. I love the way that things just happen. And the way that things can kind of just find their own way. It's like, it's like such a beautiful, beautiful way of doing things sometimes. It's just, like I just feel like sometimes I need to, um, You see that? I just like how I feel at the time. And that, that's just part of this kind of like, this beautiful feeling that you get. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a lot of these kind of yoga poses or something. It's like, you know, why am I, why am I doing the upside dog or whatever it's called? You know, why am I kind of standing on my head and my legs apart? It's That's exactly what this is. It's just about draw this arm. W where do you want to have this arm? Why do you want to have this arm? What kind of jumper is he wearing? I want to have him one of those jumpers with the the little close ties on it, you know? So that it comes down and goes around like some kind of And that way it gives me this beautiful pleasure to kind of come up and draw some kind of big gnarly hand. And we love big gnarly hands, don't we? <laughs> we do. We love drawing big gnarly hands. Especially when you draw them in ink. Especially when you've got no control of what they're doing. And especially when the hand kind of can get to be so long. Look at that big finger. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, man. You know, you just got to kind of let things kind of rock and roll a little bit.
And that's what I love. I love the whole way that ink kind of frees your mind. And I also love the way that it kind of says, you didn't make a mistake. That's the way it should be, you know? I, I kind of felt like in my, my old days when I worked in studios and stuff, I, I would kind of be like drawing something and then I'd have to erase this part and redraw that part and erase it and redraw this. And and I love the way that with ink, it's just like, well, man, that's the way it is. You can't erase that. That's just the way things are. And that, that kind of makes you feel very comfortable. kind of makes you feel like every little line and every little squiggle that you make is such a beautiful thing. And I think in a way that, you know, if you were to, to draw with a biro even, you know, it doesn't have to be ink like this with a pen and a dip and pen and a nib and all that kind of stuff. It can just be like a like a some kind of ink pen like a like a fountain pen or something or or a biro even just kind of get in there and just let all those feelings just happen and i find that once you've kind of sketched around a little bit and you start to find that every line that you put down is meant to be it's it's meant to be that way the same as that arm before I drew it was already there. You know, I kind of feel that in my in my mind. And that somehow is very relaxing that you're kind of pulling these these drawings and whatever out of the paper. You know, that they're already there. It's just like you kind of finding them. I want to try and get another arm in there because I kind of feel like he needs to have his other hand. And because the, the drawing is already there, it's already in the paper, it kind of makes you feel like, I can't go wrong. I can't go wrong because this kind of big kind of S shaped person is perfect. That's the way you should be, you know? And go back into the old things about me teaching you how to draw and explaining about drawing S shapes and C shapes and and you'll see what I mean. This is all meant to be. And that's what makes it so beautiful. Knowing that the kind of, the earth has already decided this drawing will be like this. And that just makes me feel so happy when, the, when I finish each drawing. Drawing some wrinkles there in the in the trousers, give him that feeling that he's he's got a cool stand. That's really nice. <laughs> cool. Let's just move that a little bit. Can you see the whole drawing? 
Yeah. I almost kind of feel like there's something there, you know, like he's kind of thrown something or he's catching something. And if you could talk, you could tell me. <laughs> or if I could hear you, I'm sure you can talk, but if I could hear you, how cool would that be? Hey, Kieran, why don't you draw a hippopotamus? Get a nice kind of pattern in those trousers. In those trousers or in those pants, as you American people would be saying. He's got some stripes on his pants. How many of you say pants and how many of you say trousers? For this drawing, we'll call them trousers. Stripey trousers. Cool. Now what's going to be up there? What's going to be... He's kind of cool. I kind of like that. <laughs> maybe he's just having a, a funky pose as he's walking. Maybe that's enough. I'm not sure what's with all the shading today, but I'm kind of enjoying it. Kind of breaking up the drawing a little bit for you. Maybe he could be throwing like a cheese sandwich. Let's put in a big, big cheese sandwich. <laughs> See, that's the great thing about my my drawing. <laughs> My drawings is that I can kind of do whatever I want. There's no kind of rules or regulations or anything for it. It's just kind of like that's a piece of bread. It's just like having it as fun. And there's a big slice of cheese. Nice and thick cut cheese, of course. And we'll put in some tomatoes. Or tomatoes, if you want to be. Cheese and tomato sandwich. I'm not sure why he's throwing a cheese and tomato sandwich in the air. <laughs> I love cheese and tomato sandwiches by the way and I love just a little bit of sprinkle of salt on my tomato it just kind of gives it a little bit more life to it but I don't have any butter in my sandwiches so if you make me a sandwich please don't put any butter in the sandwich don't put any butter on the bread Put a bit of lettuce in there as well, just to kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of a crunch. Excuse me. <laughs> there you are. That, that's a crazy man throwing up, throwing his sandwich in the air. You can see that you can see the bread there because there's no butter on it. 
haven't I haven't had butter in sandwiches for years, you know. Beautiful. Right. Get my trusty brush. Let's frame this man up. Oh, I need to put my name on it as well. Can't forget that. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And my name, of course, Kieran Siemens. This is the man who drew this picture for you today. And I even love writing my name. It's just like it. I like to take a little bit of time doing it just to kind of make sure that each each time I write my name it feels kind of like new and fresh. And that is coming to the end of today's drawing and oh, what a lovely drawing a lovely morning sharing it with you it was you know when I don't do these drawings I feel I feel I miss them so much I really do miss them so much so that is today's drawing for you the man with the juggling sandwiches <laughs> juggling sandwiches maybe that'll be the title juggling sandwiches well if you enjoyed that please subscribe if you did enjoy it and you got something to talk to me about something to tell me tell me what what did you think about today's drawing what did you think about the man who juggled sandwiches can you see him all there <laughs> the man who's juggling his sandwich there you go so thank you very much for being here thank you very much for sharing your time with me as always it's a great pleasure to have you here and i will be back again with a new drawing of course let's do it don't forget go and have a look on the shop go and have a look on the kieran siemens etsy shop see if there's a great t-shirt or a great drawing that you want and we should sort that out for you all right we'll see you again very 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 soon be cool and funky, all right, today. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>